Welcome to the OC Marathon flyover video. The OC Marathon begins in beautiful Newport Beach, California, and runs through four cities, including Newport Beach, Irvine, Santa Ana, and finishes at the OC Fair and Event Center in the City of Arts, Costa Mesa. The race begins on Newport Center Drive Loop, just in front of our host hotel, the Newport Beach Marriott Hotel and Spa. To the runner's right is Nordstrom, part of the upscale open-air lifestyle and shopping center that also includes Macy's, Bloomingdale's, and Neiman Marcus, Fashion Island. Opened in 1967, the center recently underwent a $100 million renovation. Runners continue on Newport Center Loop, turning left on San Nicolas Drive and another left on Avocado at Mile 1. Runners will then turn right on San Joaquin. Another right turn onto MacArthur has runners reaching the highest point on the course at 255 feet above sea level, with views of the Pacific Ocean stretching out before them. Heading down the hill, runners will be seeing the brand new Newport Beach Civic Center on the right. The award-winning architecture symbolizes the beach community with a rhythmic wave-shaped roof and iconic sail. Runners will be turning left onto one of America's most famous highways, PCH, or Pacific Coast Highway, at mile two, as they go through the quaint seaside town of Corona del Mar, Spanish for crown of the sea. Just a short distance past mile two, runners will have their first water station at Marguerite Avenue. Runners will turn right off of PCH at Orchard Avenue, and at a slight uphill, they will have a beautiful Pacific Ocean up in front of them. Turning right on Ocean Boulevard, they'll see some of the country's most expensive real estate, with many of the homes going for well beyond $15 million. Just past mile three, views over the inlet to Newport Harbor await, and the world-famous wedge where waves top 20 feet on good days. A favorite of movie studios, many scenes have been shot right around this area. The course continues on Ocean Boulevard to Carnation, turning right and right again on Seaside Drive in this beautiful coastal community of Corona del Mar. Turning left on Marguerite at Mile 4 and left again on Bayside Drive at the Mile 4 Water and Gatorade Station. Be sure to thank the volunteers at the water stations for their hard work. Bayside Drive is a favorite for the runners, as most of this section is shaded and primarily downhill, past beautiful houses, boats, and the Bahia Corinthian Yacht Club and Newport Beach Yacht Club. During the downhill stretch on Bayside Drive, runners can look to the left and see the homes of a few of the eight islands in Newport Harbor, including Balboa Island, Harbor Island, and Linda Isle. The water station at mile five and a half provides water, Gatorade, and great support as the runners go past the bridge to Balboa Island. This is an important location as we need to open up the intersection at 7.45 a.m. so that the residents can get to the church on the island. That's a 16 minute per mile pace for those of you keeping track. At mile six and a half, runners will have their next water and Gatorade station and much needed support. There will also be a medical station at this location. Runners turn left off of Bayside Drive and back on famous PCH, crossing over the Bay Bridge with unbelievable views of the Newport Harbor. An interesting and narrow cloverleaf takes runners under the bridge on PCH, past Mile 7 marker, and the first real uphill of the course awaits them as they make their way up Dover Drive. Finally cresting the hill, runners will turn right in front of the Newport Harbor Lutheran Church and be cheered on by the volunteers at the Mile 7.5 water station. Moving on to the trails at Castaways Park, stunning bluff views appear with the Bay Bridge and Newport Harbor in the distance. Take a moment to think of our soldiers in uniform as you go past the 1st Battalion, 1st Marines Memorial. After passing the memorial, runners continue on the bluff trail above the area known as the Dunes and past Mile 8. Runners will see the views over Upper Newport Bay Nature Preserve and the peaks of Saddleback Mountain are visible on most days. A couple more turns have the runners entering the neighborhood known as the Dover Shores. With a variety of houses from original 1950s cottages to massive new homes, the Dover Shores route has been part of the OC Marathon for the last two years after having to relocate a portion of our route due to endangered birds in the Back Bay Preserve. The neighbors have really embraced the runners, coming out and cheering them on as they pass. Turning left on Santiago Drive, runners will go past Mile 9, have a couple nice rolling hills, and then turn right on Galaxy Drive.
At mile 10 on Galaxy Drive, our refueling zone, followed by the water and Gatorade station, will greet runners. Runners will turn right from Galaxy onto Santiago and right again on Irvine Boulevard. A nice downhill is followed by an unwelcome uphill at mile 11, which is all made a bit easier by the support from the water station and various groups that come out to this location to cheer. This portion of the course, if clear, will give runners beautiful views over the Newport Bay Ecological Reserve with long distance views of the Santa Ana Mountains and Santiago Peak. Just prior to leaving Newport Beach, runners will be greeted by a loud cheering group and water station manned by U.S. Bank, our title sponsor. Turning left off of Irvine Boulevard and onto University Drive, runners have left Newport and are coming into Costa Mesa. Runners will turn from University Drive at mile 12 onto Santa Ana Boulevard, splitting with the half marathoners at Mesa Drive. Continuing straight and crossing the 73 toll road, the name of the road changes to Red Hill. Continuing north on Red Hill, this portion of the course in Costa Mesa has a number of well-known businesses, large churches, and runs beside John Wayne Airport, Orange County's only commercial airport. The halfway point is a small consolation, as runners will soon see the looming hill in front a mile away. Although only an overpass over the 405, the nation's most congested freeway, and made famous 20 years ago with the O.J. Simpson slow speed chase, the overpass gains only 55 feet in elevation. However, the visual from a mile away lets runners think about it for a bit too long. Get to the top of the overpass to see great views of Orange County and enjoy a nice downhill with the left turn onto Main Street in Irvine and a water and Gatorade station just before you go under the 55 freeway. To the runners left at mile 15 is a fully functioning farm one of the last remnants of an agricultural county, and now home to nearly 3.5 million people. Turning left onto Sunflower, runners are already in Costa Mesa. Turning left on Anton, runners will head south, doing a U-turn after about 100 yards. When runners turn back onto Sunflower, you'll have your water and Gatorade station on the left. Runners will turn left from Sunflower and turn right, meandering through the Segerstrom Center of the Arts. The first object you see is the 66-foot-tall, 360-ton steel structure by famed artist Richard Serra. You can see many of the nation's touring Broadway shows, a world-famous orchestra, or enjoy the smaller venue of South Coast Repertory. A slightly raised footbridge takes runners over Bristol Drive and around South Coast Plaza, an upscale luxury shopping center with stores that make you feel like you're on Rodeo Drive or Fifth Avenue, New York. Exiting South Coast Plaza at mile 17, runners will turn left back onto Sunflower Avenue, rehydrate at the mile 17 water station, and enjoy Santa Ana for the next three miles. Turning right on Rate Street, runners will go past Greenville Fundamental, one of our schools and the kids run the OC program. Sagerstrom High School is next up for the runners as they make their way past mile 18 and around the Sagerstrom Jaguar football field. Just as you're leaving the school and turning right, you'll have your next water and Gatorade station. As always, remember to thank those volunteers. A quick turn from Alton and back on Rate Street. Runners will be heading north to Segerstrom Road. Henry Segerstrom, an entrepreneur and philanthropist, developed most of this area, including South Coast Plaza, and through his philanthropy, began the Arts Center now bearing his name. Continuing in Santa Ana, runners will turn left onto Segerstrom Road, passing the Mile 19 water station just after Fairview Road, and a slight incline toward the Santa Ana River Trail. Passing Mile 20, still on Segerstrom, runners will turn left onto the Santa Ana River Trail, greeted by a band and a water and medical aid station. They'll run on this trail for a mile and a half, crossing back under the 405 freeway just after mile 21, and be cheered on at this point by our alien water station at Moon Park in Costa Mesa. The course turns from the river trail just before mile 22 on Geisler Road, with Mesa Verde Country Club on the right. This is the next water and Gatorade station a slight climb up Geisler and a right turn on Country Club Drive and through the Mesa Verde neighborhood where the support from the residents will be welcomed at this point. Runners will turn right onto Mesa Verde Drive West 
for a nice shaded section and headed up to the water station just past mile 23. Continuing across Adams Avenue, runners will have a slight downhill and a left turn onto Oriole Drive, followed by a right on Cardinal. The bird streets, as they call them here, have become a runner's favorite with all the neighborhood support. A quick turn on Tanager Drive and the Mile 24 Water and Gatorade Station and cheering athletes from nearby Estancia High School supporting the runners. The runners will move on to a trail next to the Costa Mesa Country Club for a short distance before exiting out with a right turn and a diagonal across one of the busiest streets in Orange County, Harbor Boulevard. Running east on the shady Merrimack Way, Orange Coast College is on your left. Runners are now on the home stretch and will get a final refueling from volunteers at the Mile 25 water station. You're almost home. The sound of the ultimate finish line festival from the OC Fair and Events Center can be heard as the runners continue straight across Fairview Drive and onto the fairgrounds. One of the most interesting marathon finishes takes runners directly in front of the main stage and a half mile to the finish. A right turn and another right brings you to the final one-tenth of a mile straightaway and the finish line with thousands of spectators waiting for your arrival. Now wear that medal proud and enjoy the finish line festival. Get yourself a much-deserved free massage, enjoy a beverage of your choice, and listen to some great music from the ultimate finish line festival stage. From all of us at OC Marathon, thanks for watching, and we can't wait to see you there.